All right, collecting. Y'all, um, I had to come jump in here and take me a spiritual bath because I'm so heated. Now, I had made two videos where I said uh, I'm mad as hell, right? Okay, when I got this down, though, because see, God been trying to tell me I'm right, I'm right, I'm right, I'm right, I'm right. But y'all, I still try to give the benefit out of the doubt. And God get pissed off when you let a motherfucker tell you that what God is telling you is a motherfucking lie, right? So I kept saying, okay, I know what I'm been what I've been thinking was true, but I got I got confirmation today. This is this nigga that I was messing with, he's 60 motherfucking years old, man. 60 motherfucking years old. This motherfucker is crooked than a bitch. All right, okay, and my daughter, right? I had said, I, I've been saying he was doing something with my daughter, right? But he kept saying, I would never mess with none of y'all. Yes, you will. You'll fuck anybody. But let me tell y'all what he did, though. And by her being a little bitch and trying to be a dumb bitch and go against her fucking mama, she gonna go against me with him and Tiny. And Ebony rode by my house one day in a little red car. I knew it was her. And she went by fast. She knew if I'd have got close, I'd have thrown a rock through that motherfucker. But my thing is this. I knew that this motherfucker was fucking with my kid because my homegirl, Jean, said that they, Jean, I probably said this on the other videos, I'm not sure, but Jean had said, Tana, I went to go pick up Ebony, and I seen her walking, but a black car was seen it and picked up. She was talking about Cat because she was, she looked at him with a, with a deadly look, and he not one time looked at her at all, at all, you hear me? So she, she knew what he was saying. So, I'm like, okay, why? You know, I, I still couldn't put my hand on it. I got a, a confirmation earlier, and I was smoking mad. And this is what it was. See, he, he took Ebony in my house, my child. Nobody else had a key to my house, not even the landlord, y'all. Listen to what I'm saying. This is going to be mad as hell, the beginning. That's what it's going to be. This go with the other motherfucking two. So, you take my child in my house and fuck my child, get my information, talk to my child, uh, if they do this and do that, how much money they'll be able to make, or they'll put her and her kids in a place, right? He was playing on Ebony. He was literally playing on her. I know he was, but then not only that, he played with Tiny too, got Tiny involved and all of that. These are these two people right here. Tiny is a mental patient. Ebony is naive. So he had a he seen a loophole for him and his wife or whoever he deal with to shoot through there, all right? Okay, you fucking my own child in my house. You went in my house, took my child in my house, fucked my kid in my house, but not only that, she was a dumb enough motherfucker to go through my shit and be on Facebook with my dress on. Boom, I busted her. Right? Okay, so come to find out, now they done talked and cocked up to doing all this illegal shit. She the one finna get caught up. But then you know how God works. You know how God works? God going to make it to where she ain't going to get caught up. Why? She going to get her part. She going to do her. She going she gonna to pay for her karma. But she ain't going to get as much karma as everybody thinks she going to get. Because these motherfuckers played on her. Ebony don't do no PPP loan. Ebony ain't going to do all of that. Ebony got to be coasted to do that. Okay? So it was a Gemini, a, a sister, or a cousin that... Talked her into doing it. And whoever this bitch is, this wife, this sister, whoever made her befriend Ebony, befriend Ebony somewhere at a job or somewhere, befriend her and, and bait her in like that. Cat, you know what you did, but that's okay. You're going to have bad luck. But the thing about it is, y'all, this what fucked me up. He was fucking her. Yeah, he was fucking my daughter. My daughter got pregnant. Guess what he did? took her to get an abortion and once he took her to get an abortion from the abortion clinic to the house he dropped her off and ghosted her name been back and left her with all of that shit she got in her name those ppp loans those houses those cars he talked to her in the getting it that's why he not driving that 2023 optima right motherfucking now understand me the same way you get it the same way you lose it but for to play on somebody and 
mind like that, even though she even though she was calling herself going against me, they promised her something. Ebony didn't have nothing really. So I I, I kind of like, no, I don't, I don't agree with it. I don't agree with it. Not when you're trying to kill me, I don't. No, hell no. And then on top of that, y'all, he gonna say, I ain't messing with your daughter. A parent lives to say anything. Like I used to, I tell him all the time, God ain't got a lie on you. You was, you, y'all did that to Ebony. Then you was fucking with Iris. And then you fucking with all these different hoes. You got two or three different hoes pregnant because you running up in these young girls without no condom. This a 60 year old man. All three of his kids, oh, all four of his kids older than the motherfucking hoe that he over there playing with. Not only did Ebony use my motherfucking shit, he got the, the other bitch that he laying up with in my shit using my information like it's the thing to do. Okay. All right. Yeah. You're going to get your karma, motherfucker. And it's sad that my grandkids, the part of the matter, you know what? I ain't even worried about none of them. The part that pissed me off the most is my grandsons had to see this shit. You go from calling a motherfucker paw paw to what, daddy? Ain't that some low down shit? You didn't give a shit about me. You didn't give a shit about my kids or my grandkids. So guess what? I don't give a shit about you or your grandkids. But you will weep what you sow, some of bitch. Because you came for the wrong motherfucker. You, your wife, your family, and everybody else. This is part three. This is the beginning of Mad as Hell.